In this video, I'm gonna talk you through the ultimate weekend camping checklist. And so this is for car camping, and it's gonna be everything that you need to know to pack for a camping trip over a weekend, everything from the tent stuff to the kitchen stuff to extra fun stuff that you might, might wanna bring, all the way to what you wanna pack in your personal clothes bags, including how many pairs of underwear <laughs> I think you should bring. So I'm not even kidding. We're gonna cover it all in this video. And by the end, I'm hoping that you'll have everything you need to know uh, in order to pack effectively and prepare for an upcoming camping trip. If you're new to camping, if you're a beginner or you've gone on just a couple trips, then I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and also check out our playlist that's called Camping for Beginners. We have a lot of videos in there that are tailored specifically for you to help you get started with camping and learn the little things that you need uh, to have a great trip. So with that, we're gonna jump into the video. Let's get started. I love to eat, so we're gonna start with the kitchen stuff that you're gonna need to cook and eat your meals on a camping trip. So. I'm gonna point out some of the things that I see as essentials that you're gonna to need to take on pretty much every trip. But then there's also gonna be a few things, ooh, birds. There's gonna be a few things that uh, depends on the type of things that you're cooking. And so I'll mention some of the things that you could take but aren't necessarily essential every time. Okay, so let's start with some of the basics. So you're gonna to have to bring a stove. You can cook a lot of meals over the fire, but usually when you go camping, it's nice uh, to have a stove just because you don't know what the weather is gonna be or if it's gonna rain. And so this is good to have. You want a stove and then a fuel. And this is just a basic Coleman stove. They also have those folding ones, so that'll work well too. And then you need something to light it with, so like a box of matches or a lighter. So that's kind of your, your stove piece there. And then to cook on that, you're gonna need a pot and a frying pan usually. And uh, like I said, depending on what you're cooking, this might vary a bit, but typically you're gonna need at least a pot and a frying pan. And uh, one classic blunder is to forget to bring a spatula or a spoon. So make sure that you bring these. And then you wanna be able to lift these things up, so bring some sort of hot pad or oven mitt as well. And then uh, you want some cooking spray or oil, so that if you're, especially if you're cooking something in the frying pan, that'll help you out a lot. And then for preparing the meals, or once you've prepared the meals, I should say, you need to be able to eat them, right? <laughs> and so you wanna bring uh, like a mug, bowls and plates, uh, spoons, forks, that type of thing. And usually for camping, it's best to bring plastic and metal things because if you bring ceramic, uh, you have a better chance of like breaking it. Even in just like moving it around in a bin like this, like you can, you can shatter that sort of a thing. So uh, I always take a plastic bowl. Um, you can take the plastic bowls, plates, you get the picture. And uh, for a cup, you can use a water bottle. Um, I usually take a, a metal mug as well because that's good for both cold drinks and hot drinks. Uh, going on here, we also have uh, some food storage items. So you could use like Rubbermaid containers, like small Rubbermaid containers, but it's also really good to have some Ziploc bags and aluminum foil. Especially if you're cooking over the fire, you might need aluminum foil. And so these are some great items to have as well. And then uh, trash bags. You always wanna take trash bags. You don't wanna make a mess. You wanna leave the campsite cleaner than where you uh, the way you found it and so always take some trash bags and then this bag here is for cleanup after you've eaten and so what it has inside is it's got some dish soap and uh, you could they have like smaller containers of dish soap too that you could get and then you want to take either some hand soap or some hand sanitizer to wash your hands with and then like a, uh, a scrubber or a brush a sponge for washing dishes and then uh, a hand towel for drying dishes or just drying your hands off. So that's what you want for that. And uh, I'll also mention, so I, I obviously have all of this packed away in like a Rubbermaid tub. If you're doing this type of camping, like car camping, where you can pull up to the campsite, take everything out, it's really helpful to have stuff packed in something like this just to make it easier to organize. So now uh, let me mention a few things that you may or may not need, um, depending on what exactly it is that you're cooking. So I have a cooler here. You probably noticed that already, and if you're, uh, taking some butter or like milk or other things that are perishable and you just need to keep them cold over the weekend Then you can usually just get away with using a cooler like this filling it up with some ice and then you're good to go You could you could put meat in there too like bacon you could put eggs in that sort of a thing So it could be good to take a cooler. Um, I also consider a, uh, a cutting board and a, a knife an optional item because you may or may not need to cut anything um, but if you're like chopping veggies and doing something like that, then obviously you will need them. Um, a couple other items that I have down here, you may be able to see some of it in the video, is uh, these are all different things that you could take, but 
aren't necessarily essential. And a few in particular are, uh, it's really great to take a water jug. And so you can just use like recycled, cleaned out milk jugs, or you can get like a specialized water jug um, for your campsite. And that's really nice because then you don't have to make as many trips back and forth to the water spigot. And for this video, I am assuming that you're at a campsite where you can get water and you don't have to go and filter your own water. So take a water jug, that can make it a lot more convenient for you. And then this is one of those like collapsible camp sinks. And uh, these can be great for helping you wash dishes or carry water. Um, you don't have to have it, but it's a nice to have. And then there's a few other things down here. Um, spices and seasoning. You might call this an essential item. Um, I'm, I, I, I don't know, I, I can eat things whether they have seasoning in them or not, so it's debatable. But you could take some salt, pepper. I also have garlic powder here. So it can be good to take some, some seasoning. And then down here, uh, I also have a few other things that you would take depending on what you're cooking. I've got a cast iron uh, Dutch oven down here. I also have some like roaster sticks for hot dogs. I have some pie irons. Um, if you don't know what a pie iron is, we have a video that's uh, about pie iron recipes. So you can take a look at that and see what it looks like. We'll link to a card in this video to show you what that is. And yeah, so those are some optional items you can take. And if you do the Dutch oven or the pie irons, then you're also gonna need to take uh, charcoal briquettes. Um, so I have a bag of that down there too. And so that's kind of the, the high level. Um, so just to kind of recap on this, there's some core things that you need to take for your kitchen. And then there's some optional things that you can bring in depending on what you're planning to cook for the weekend. Um, and what I have here in the middle basically represents the core. You gotta have a pot and a pan, uh, some, something to cook over and then uh, a few other items to help you cook and clean, or eat and clean. So that's all there is for this, and now we're gonna go over to the tent. All right, we're in the tent now, and so let me point out a couple things here. We're gonna do the tent itself and what you need for your sleeping arrangements, and then I'm gonna dive into your personal bag and show you what to pack there. So first of all, with the tent, you obviously need to take a tent with you, and then you'll need the rain fly and stakes as well. Usually the rain fly will come with it, sometimes the stakes will come with it, but not always, so just check before you go on your trip. And then for the sleeping arrangements here, you have a few different options. You need a sleeping pad, a cot, or an air mattress. Those are kind of your, your options. And so down here, under this, I have, uh, down there under that, I have a sleeping pad that I would take like backpacking or something like that, it's inflatable. And then you, I have a cot over here, and you could also use an air mattress if you want. And then for your sleeping bag, uh, just make sure you take a sleeping bag that is rated for a low enough temperature to keep you warm on the coldest night during your weekend trip. So that's basically the main thing you need to remember. If you're uh, camping in the summer, you can probably get away with something uh, lighter and uh, kind of uh, less thick. But if you're going into camping, uh, in camping in the winter, then you probably need something a little bit more hardcore. So that's that. Now, uh, also the uh, uh, two other things about the, the sleeping arrangements is um, you can take a pillow. You can even take your pillow from home. There's no harm in doing that, and uh, it might help you sleep better. And then also, uh, some people will like to take like a sheet, like an extra sheet, especially if it's really hot, then you can just sleep with the sheet instead of the full sleeping bag. Or um, if you have a mummy sleeping bag, they make liners for them, so that can be a nice optional thing as well. Now let's do the personal bag here. So for the personal bag, uh, I'm just gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step items of everything that you need to think about for packing just so you don't have to do any guessing of like general categories and so uh, I'm gonna start with with this so I like to kind of compartmentalize my bag into different um, dry bags like this to keep them dry if I'm out and about but also just to organize it a bit better and so this bag has a few different things in it and for a weekend trip what you're gonna need is um, I'll pull some of this out I, I won't take everything out here but I'll take some of this out so you can see. So I put my uh, socks and my underwear in here. And so for a weekend trip, you're gonna need one to two pairs of underwear. You're gonna need, I, I promised you I would tell you exactly how much to pack, so there you go. And then uh, for socks, um, especially if you're hiking, you kind of want to overpack a little bit on the on the socks. And so usually you would need to take two or three extra pairs of socks. And if you are hiking, then you may also want to take uh, sock liners, like thick wool socks and then the liners for them as well. Um, if you're not doing that, then you can use just regular uh, uh, cotton socks um, or just lighter weight uh, polyester and wool socks. 
So in addition in this bag, I have my t-shirts and I have a long sleeve like Under Armour shirt, this right here. And so for a weekend trip, you're gonna need like about two t-shirts probably um, to pack extra. And then uh, the long sleeve shirt is nice because uh, an important thing to remember if you're going camping and you're kind of new is even if it's warm during the day, it could get quite cold at night. And so it's good to have stuff like this that's like an Under Armour base layer to keep your core warm. And then uh, that's a good transition over to some of this other stuff. So let's get this next bag. So what I have in here is um, kind of the one step up. So um, I have a pair of polyester pants that looks kind of like this one, but it's a pair of polyester pants in here. And uh, I also have a light jacket. So basically no matter when I'm camping, like what time of year, I'm gonna take at least some sort of light jacket. And if it's in the fall or spring, like a, kind of the fringe seasons, you would take something warmer. If it's in the summer, you could take something lighter like this. And then uh, also in this bag, I have uh, my sleeping clothes. So in the summer, I'll usually sleep with just like a pair of shorts. Um, if it's a little bit colder out or if you're just somebody who sleeps cold, then you can take a pair of sweatpants too. Just something that's, that's dry and comfortable and clean to sleep in. Uh, that's another thing you'll want to have in, in uh, uh, your, your packing list. Moving over here, I have a few loose items in my bag. And these are gonna be some like weatherproofing items. So you always wanna take a rain jacket even if there's no rain in the forecast. And then I also have a, an additional hat and a pair of sunglasses. So depending on what the weather is again, you may or may not need to take a big warm wool hat. Um, if it's the fall or spring, I usually will take one. If it's the dead of summer and it's really hot, then I probably won't take one. But I will always take some kind of hat, so I wear this hat during the day, even if it's hot out. So bring a hat, uh, bring uh, sunglasses, and uh, bring a raincoat. And then also in here, I have uh, some miscellaneous items that are also important to bring. So let me pull these out and show you what I got. So in here I have a bit of cord rope. So this is useful uh, for like if you need to uh, hang something up on a tree or you need to do a clothesline or if you need to tie like a side of your tent down. There's a lot of applications for this. There's not much here but you could bring even more. And so that's one thing. I also will bring a, a personal set of matches fire starters there and then uh, this is a headlamp pretty self-explanatory but you want to have some sort of flashlight or headlamp then I have a, a personal first aid kit um, if you're going with like a group of a few people and there's like a community first aid kit you probably don't need to take an additional one but I just do anyway <clears throat> and then uh, you need a pocket knife or a multi-tool of some kind uh, this is very useful <laughs> this is an essential item you should take one no matter when you're camping or where you're going um, so, and then this is kind of your tech. So this is a battery pack and it's got some charging cables in it. I have my uh, cell phone in my pocket. And another thing to mention about this is if you are going somewhere you're not familiar with, or even if you are, frankly, then it's a good idea to download a digital map onto your phone so that you don't have like problems like navigating to and from where you're camping uh, if you don't have service, for example. Um, or just take a, an analog printed out map of the area you're going. That can be really helpful to have as a fail safe. And uh, this is not necessarily an essential item, but I often will take a compass with me when I'm going camping as well. Um, this is mostly applicable if you're going like hiking or something like that. Um, so if you're just going and driving to a campsite and then stopping and not really going too many other places, you probably don't need this. All right, the last item that's in my bag that I haven't mentioned yet is just my bag of to toiletries. So toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, um, any medication, chapstick, um, anything else that you need that's hygiene related. Um, if you are going a pl to a place that has showers and you wanna shower while you're there, I confess if I'm going on a weekend trip, I often won't shower. <laughs> I'll just wait until I get home because it's only a couple days. Uh, but if you're gonna do that, then obviously you need to bring some shampoo and soap and that sort of a thing. Yep, so that covers everything. And now I just wanted to make a brief little footnote here about seasonal items. So if you're going and you know it's gonna be pretty cold out, then you might wanna take like a full-on winter jacket, like this down jacket I have here. If you're going in the 
dead of summer and you're going someplace where there's a lake, you might want to take like a swimsuit, some sandals. So there's a few extra items that you might want to bring depending on the season. And uh, again, I told you at the beginning, I don't want you to have to do a bunch of guessing. And so I've actually written out everything on this list, including optional items. And so you can find the full list in the description. Um, feel free to go check that out so that you get the full comprehensive view and you don't have to worry about forgetting anything. For this part, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to tell you about some miscellaneous additional camp items that you're going to need or want around your campsite for your trip. And uh, we're going to talk about all the stuff that I have here on my lap. But first, let me talk about a couple other things that we have around our campsite. So I'm obviously sitting in a camp chair. So this is really nice to take, especially if there's no picnic table at the campsite you're going to. And when we did the kitchen portion earlier, you would have also noticed that we were on kind of like a white plastic folding table. And so again, if there's no picnic table where you're going, it can be nice to take that. So now let's talk about some other items that um, you'll want to bring with you to have around the campsite that didn't really fit into other categories. So first is, uh, this is a, a first aid kit, a lovely pink first aid kit. You want to make sure you take that. You don't know what's going to happen during your camping trip, so you want to have that on hand. Um, you want to take some sunscreen, no matter what season it is, that's good to have. And uh, I don't have some on me right now, but you also want to take bug repellent, especially in the summer. Um, or you can even get, they have these little uh, sort of bug repelling um, like units that kind of put up like a bug shield around your campsite. Those are kind of cool. Um, so that's something you could think about as well. And uh, it's good to have some extra rope or cord again around the campsite to hang stuff up, tie things down, etc. And I have some fire starters here as well. If you didn't have some fire starters packed with your kitchen, then you wanna make sure you bring some or some newspaper to make sure that you can get your uh, fire and the fire pit started if you wanna do that. And then um, for most people who are going camping, uh, car camping, a lot of times they're gonna have a bathroom um, that you can use and a lot of times that will have toilet paper, but it's good to take some toilet paper just to be safe and uh, so that's what I have here and I put it in a plastic bag just so I can't get wet from anything and it's good also you can put some like hand sanitizer or soap in there with the bag just so that you can take it all together so that's another thing to bring and then over here I have some extra items that you could bring that are nice to have um, but is not necessarily something that I would take on every camping trip and so what I have here is a, uh, a rain fly an extra rain fly or dining fly um, if it might rain out, you could put this up over your, your campsite, especially like your kitchen area so that you can cook without getting rained on um, and eat your food without getting rained on too. That can make a big difference. And so this is for that as well. So that's an extra rain fly. And then uh, here I have a, a lantern. So it kind of packs up. It's a gas lantern, sort of old school. You put it on like a fuel canister. So um, I, I, I think the one that I showed you earlier, this will work with, but if not, you obviously need to take the fuel for it too, or they have electronic uh, lanterns. This is just really nice to have around the camp, um, especially if you're like sitting around the table in the dark and chatting or, or playing games or something. And then I have uh, some duct tape because, because duct tape. Uh, I don't think there's any further explanation needed for that. And then here I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention a couple things that are related to this, but um, if you wanna make it easier to pound your stakes in for your tent, you can take a hammer with you. Um, but also, something that kinda goes along with this, you could take a hatchet or like an ax, for example, if you're planning to split firewood wherever you're going to camp. Um, and if you do that, then you could actually use the back of your hatchet or ax instead of a hammer. So that's just something to think about as well. So that's kind of our around the campsite category. And then we did have one other category that I wanted to mention here, which is just extra fun stuff. So you could take, uh, for example, a deck of cards or some other games to play while you're camping. You could take some uh, um, like musical instruments to play around the campfire. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you could take that's extra things to do while you're camping and that can really add a lot to your trip. And so if you wanna find out more uh, ideas for things to do while you're camping, check out this video that we're gonna link to in the card here. And that's gonna give you 18 ideas of different things that you can do while you're camping just to get your, your thoughts churning and give you some um, exciting new ideas to, to try out on your trip. So with that, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I, like I mentioned earlier, we do have the full like text list of this packing list in the description of this video. 
And if you think there's anything that we missed here, any piece of information that you'd like to uh, hear that we haven't covered, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to respond to you. And if uh, I did miss something, then I'll take whatever you mention and I'll incorporate it into our, our list so that the, the text description will be sort of the ultimate source of truth, truth for this uh, weekend packing list. So with that, we're gonna wrap it up and uh, yeah, hope to see you here for the next one.